This might be one of the worst day one Genshin accounts ever. Have you ever seen someone with a C6 Dido get level 1? Or someone with this kind of artifact? Well, as embarrassing as I am to admit, this account belongs to me. You see, I've been neglecting my main account for a long time now, because I have so many other accounts to play on. And I generally only use a few teams to speed through the domains for farming. But now it is time to actually build some of my less used characters on this account. So I spent 5,000 resins through this past month just farming and building my characters. And hopefully with my newly built characters, I can get through floor 12 of the abyss. Oh yeah, and I also got a lot of people asking me to fix their accounts as well. But hey, if you join my Twitch streams, you might be one of the lucky ones in the future, so make sure to follow me later and enjoy the video. Like, I do have Navia right now. Uh, she is using like a two-piece two-piece, because I'm um, just separating her artifact right now, since her four-piece set is really sad. I will be farming artifacts, maybe some talents if I need to. Like, this is my attack person sand right now. That's on Xiao. Uh, I don't have any goblets that's usable, and my circlet is also... I was using this one, which has a lot of HP percent, and that's about it. So yeah. What I'll be doing is to build my characters, hopefully Navia. The one character I want to build is Diluc. Like, he's been haunting me forever, and I do have him at C6, which maybe I should activate. Okay, now he's C6, but I had him for like over a year or two now, but he's just rocking at level 2 right now. So I think we should change it today. I'll use like a Diluc team and maybe a Navia team as well. We'll just build some Claymore characters and hopefully get him to be Abyss. Resley? I don't know if I'll build him right now. Maybe I'll save him for later. And also Yola. I have so many Claymore characters I don't have built at all. But then again, Claymore characters are pretty slow for me. I like to play fast-paced gameplay. It hurts how you brought a Diluc skin and haven't built him yet? What do you mean? It was... Like 20% off or something, that's why I bought it. Better do Diluc Justice. So, the character I'm looking to build, I can go to the Abyss, I guess, first and just demonstrate the team, maybe. The characters I'm looking to build are uh, probably a Diluc. Uh, I'm not really sure which team works well with Diluc, though. The other team I also want is Navia, most likely, Goro, Farina, and most likely Noel. I'm gonna build a Geo team with Farina. With uh, Navia as like a second DPS, sub DPS. And then the second half, I'll be building uh, Diluc. I'll probably use a Vaporize team. Like I could already use like a team like something like Liz maybe. I could already do Liz. So Navia is using a Serpent Spine. I think weapon wise, she's already good. She only needs to focus on artifacts. Kazo is also built already, so I won't be touching him at all. The characters I'll be building are Goro maybe. Let me check Goro's artifact real quick. Yeah, Goro doesn't really have any artifacts right now. Uh, weapon, I also need to get my Favonius bow. So, Goro will need a four-piece of um, the Husk Dream set. So, I'll probably be strongboxing these while I farm for Navius's artifacts. Let's see. The other characters I was said I was going to build is definitely Noelle. Um, she may or may not need a new weapon. Maybe I'll R5 a white blind for her. So, uh, yeah, uh, artifacts, she definitely needs some four piece as well for the husk. And she has C6, but her talents also need to get raised. Okay, so let's build Noel first. Let's build our Geo team first. And then Diluc will focus on him afterwards. I'm pretty sure Goro doesn't have his artifacts yet, so he might not be able to support as good. But I should be able to still do some damage because my other DPSs are built, kind of. Okay. No, I was like hitting 5k. Not bad, but still definitely need some work. Uh, is my, am I getting my burst back? Okay, Navia is like carrying right now. But yeah. I would say this team is pretty good actually. Not as bad as uh, on paper, I guess. Because Navia doesn't really need to like, I guess, be on field as often as Noel. I'll do some artifact farming first, I guess. Uh, let's hop into the fountain artifact for Navia. Wait, let me just test out a rotation though and see. Don't have my burst right now, so this comp might run into some burst issues. But so far, let's see how fast we can clear this domain. Okay, my rotations are pretty bad as well, I think. I'm making the well mains uh winds in pain. What's like a good damage Noel should be doing, by the way, with her um, normal attacks, for example. Oops. I mean, like, around sub one minute still, I, pre I believe. Yeah, so still pretty fast. Okay, let's see. Hopefully Noel brought me some luck. This flower, I don't really care about since I'm not really farming for it, but the circlet, I hope I get a crit damage circlet with, like, attack person lines or energy recharge and, of course, crit rate. 
cool. I just keep on getting these kind of stats with double crit when it's not like what I want. Okay. Fetter, I don't really need, so yeah, unfortunate. These artifact runs are not really doing good for me. Like, I'm, I haven't really gotten any good artifact in this domain at all. Okay. Uh, healing pieces again. Like, this domain is literally Husk 2.0. Uh, artifact. Three artifacts. Please give me an attack for some sands. Please. No! Alright, last one. Last condense I have right now. Okay. Like, I don't know if I want to farm this artifact domain. So far, it hasn't given me anything. Oh, speaking of which, I did deplete my resins already, right? So, let's do some husk swamp boxing for both Noel and maybe potentially Goro. Okay. Let's see if I get anything good. Maybe? Defense, crit rate, crit damage. So, besides this one, I think everything else is bad. Let's do this again. Four goblets, animal damage. Alright, just sped through all of them, nothing really good. Okay. I got a geo damage goblet, but it doesn't have any crits though. Crit rate, that's pretty... Okay, another one that's decent maybe? But it doesn't have any defense lines. Okay, so I got two good flowers. Let's enhance those things. So this is my current flower already. I think this flower is honestly decent enough. But I'm someone that actually wants something better. Maybe potentially for other characters as well. Like, I have this flower, this flower. Okay, this, this flower is so bad. And also this flower. So Noah is actually using the best flower already. But let's upgrade the ones we just got. So this one, this one, and this one, I guess. I'll start with this one since uh, it has energy recharge and it could be a potential Goro piece. Right, let's see. Attack. Okay. Let's not get any of those lines. As one crit damage. Maybe some energy. Okay, uh, not gonna upgrade this anymore. Because I have other artifacts to do. Maybe this one. HP, okay, I'll add this to plus 8. Alright, plus 8. Attack, okay. This one is already useless as well. Let's see this one. Energy, okay, this is actually a very good artifact. Yes, four perfect lines for Noel. Alright, defense. Not the best I was hoping for, but... It could redeem itself by crit damage. Okay, it did redeem itself. Two times? Energy, okay, it's hitting one for everything. If I get another crit damage though, this will be a good Noel piece. Maybe a Goro piece as well. Okay, uh, let's sacrifice the flowers we just got into that piece. Plus 19, so not enough for plus 20 yet. But this, one, this time it will. Crit damage? Okay, it might be a good Goro piece, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Like, not bad, right? Compared to the one I'm using right now, it's pretty good. Let's see. Feather, I do need some defense and energy recharge. And let's see if I have any. Okay, this one is pretty good. The one Yunjin is using right now. It could be potentially a piece I could use. Or maybe this one. Okay. I don't have any more artifacts to enhance, though, so... <laughs> Oops. Gotta actually condense my resins. Some of these pieces are pretty bad. Yeah, this one is not really that good. Okay. Feather. Getting fed into another feather. But yeah, plus 18, we should get like three or four lines. So here's hoping. Oh, plus 20. Uh -huh. Not bad. Not bad total CD, yeah. And also, it didn't hit any HP lines after the defense, so. Maybe good for Goro? Well, should I make it a Noel piece? Okay, it actually might be a Noel piece instead. Two crit damage and two on defense. Yeah, it's pretty good, actually. Maybe Goro actually needs more crit rate because I'm using a Favonius uh, Warbo. That was actually a pretty surprising enhancement. So I guess I'll just give that feather I just got to Noel. The current sands I have are decent, I guess, but I want something better. No, I already have a pretty good sand, so I don't think I'm going to upgrade Noel's sands. But... Hey, where did this come from? Uh, it's new and it's locked, so it's good, right? This one's a Noel, Noel Sands, okay? Potential Noel Sands. Okay, fingers crossed for maximum crit damage lines. Okay, hit crit damage like twice and also HP twice. Maybe three times. So that's kind of bad. There we go. Okay, get a crit damage, please. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Okay. Maybe Noel will use it now. 
Because Noel right now, as embarrassing as I like to admit, was using a attack person stance. I completely didn't see that. So this will be an upgrade for her. Although not the best upgrade because if I hit crit damage, that would have been insane. But still, not the end of the world. Alright, now I'll just need like a crit damage circlet. Let me check her stats right now. Okay, she needs crit rate circlet actually. So uh, yeah, once I get a crit rate circlet, then I should be good. I have one crit rate over here, another one over here, but I don't have any crit rate circlets with a crit damage substat. So this is what I'll be hunt hunting for and then enhancing after that. But before we go strongbox a little bit more, let's go back to the Navia domain and just farm for more artifact fodders. Alright, let's do the same team comp again. So let's test out my characters now that I enhance their artifacts. See how well Noel does and see how big of a damage she can do now. 10k! Okay, she is hitting! Five digits now. Against enemies without a shield at least. Navia is still hitting hard as usual, but yeah! There are some improvements, right? Uh, I never spent my fragiles, that's why I have so much. Okay. Can we start off good with a crit damage circlet? Defense. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Two circlets! Okay, one of this better be a crit damage one with crit rate substats. Alright, first one HP. Second one. You know what? Okay, I got a goblin. But we still can get a two damage goblin, right? <sighs> okay. Oh, okay. Finally have two of these uh, new artifacts that, that I wanted, but like... It's Feather and Flower, which is the ones I already have something good in, so... Thanks a lot, Kinshin. Give me something good, please. No! I only Feathers! Oh! Something is locked! Automatically! <laughs> so that means it's something good, right? Wait, this one isn't locked? What? I guess Elemental Mastery is not good enough. What's this? I'm excited to see this, but I'll, I'll just... Kind of skip over it first. Jump over that. Okay, EM is not set to automatically lock on this. Alright, defense. I need a circlet. Okay. Potentially a good fetter. Alright, let me just do it one more time since I believe I still have something that I need to use as fodder. Alright, let's see. Any... No, nothing is locked. Okay, so let me see artifacts are all garbage here. But please, circlet! Surely one of them is crit rate circlet with crit damage substats, right? Uh, attack, I don't want that. Crit rate? Okay. Maybe if I get crit damage at plus four, this will be good. Okay, another defense. This one's actually pretty good. Maybe Goro Albedo needs it. Time to work on my Noel. But I did get a few good artifacts on her, so I think that's honestly enough. Let me check my Goro and just see. Yeah, Goro has a good artifact set already, I believe. Yeah, Goro already have, has a good enough artifact set, honestly. I think his energy is enough. I might need to also enhance the weapon, but I may or may not have any of these, so yeah. Let's R5 wipe blind and also raise Noel's talents after I level her up. <laughs> Wait, I actually need to farm this! Alright, let's go farm this pillar from the Geo Cube and then we can go enhance Noel. Oh yeah, I just I remember uh, this boss is immune to Geo. What am I doing? Well, I guess Farina was solo, because I forgot this boss is, like, immune. <laughs> ah! At least it's Navi and not Noah, right? Alright, give me three, so I don't have to fight this boss again. Three! Okay, good, 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 good. Uh, now I have 12, so I should be able to ascend my Noah to level 80. Okay, so after level 80... I can also level up her talents, right? Yeah. Hopefully I have enough materials. Okay, I do have good good amount of materials. Alright. Good stopping point. She should be able to do more damage. White blind, I'll R5 it as well. One, two, three, four. Okay, good. R5 now. So now Noah's build. Okay, her circlet. Let me change it. She needs a query circle instead, so let me find it. Oh, pretty good. 16% defense, 21% crit damage. It just so happens to be sitting on my account, so yeah. 62.9 crit rate and 122% crit damage. I would say it's pretty good, right? And 2,100 defense. And then my other teammate, which is Goro, probably 
can get Favonis to level 90 though. So let me do laugh first, and then everyone should be. Everyone should be built. How is my Farina weapon still level 80? Not really la maxed, but still. I would say Noah with her weapon, R5 now, and also her artifact. She's looking pretty good. And then my Goro, uh, he's just a support, kinda. But, yeah. I don't think he really needs that much more energy recharge. With a Favonis weapon especially, and also triple Geo, so... Yeah. Navi, I kinda gave up on farming for her artifacts, because I just farmed like 2,000 resins on her already, so... She'll be good right now. Farina, uh, her weapon is not max, but still fine. As long as we can showcase her. The second team I wanted to build was d right? So let's focus on d first. He is lacking some of these boss materials. So let's go to... Look. Yeah, like maybe I'll use a Wolf Greystone for convenience sake. And also fits the aesthetic of him. But other than that, I need to maybe strongbox more artifacts for him because... I believe this piece is his best in star, right? Crimson Witch. So I'll be using this. Why does he have two piece maidens? Because he's a maiden. But yeah, let's now farm the fire flower for Diluc. Try out our new team. Because Farina can destroy the flower pretty easily. Okay, let's see. Uh Goro buff. Navia, I guess I'll just try to get my first up for Noel. Oh, it's not up yet. Come on. I wanna see how much damage it can do. Oh, that was anti calamatic because I just kind of one-shotted it, but still. I saw a glimpse of like 16k or so. Okay, I got a fragile again. Uh, I'll just use two of them. No, I got two of them! Maybe I shouldn't have used two fragiles. Okay, instead of... Using my Navia. Okay, I gotta, I gotta use Navia. I can't. I want to try on the wall so bad, but I can't because... uh. The boss is too weak. I keep getting two of them! Stop! Okay, level 20. Let's see how far we can get him. Okay, uh, level 60 now? He also ascends my crit rate, so I could be more lenient on the crits, I think. Alright. I need some chunks, so let me do that real quick. Alright, let's level up the Luke to 70. And now I need to farm a little bit more before I can ascend him to 80. I'm gonna try to get 4 piece Crimson Witch of Flames first. So uh, let's look at the current artifacts that we have right now. So Flower we have... Well Feather I mean, we have something that's decent, but it could definitely be better. Uh, flower right now I'm using is okay, but it could definitely be like an endgame flower already. Feather is decent. Sands. Okay, I think I'm lacking sands. Yes, I don't have a double. Okay, this is defense. Yeah, I I need a double attack for some sands. So I definitely need strongbox a little bit more. Goblet wise, uh, there is pyro damage for the Hutao, but I don't really want to steal Hutao's goblet. So yeah, I need a sand in the goblet. Maybe another crit damage circlet would be better. Okay, I do have a query circlet, so I need a query circlet instead of crit damage. Okay. Preferably with some crit damage subsets as well. Well, let's start off by just, I guess, strongboxing. So I'm assuming all of these are not really good. Nope. Pretty bad. F feather and flower and sands all around. Okay, this one might be decent. It's attack percent, but we have to press it to four first. Okay, still no locked ones. But maybe I'll get pleasantly surprised by one of them. No. Oh, this one's crit damage with crit rate though. But... I think my d needs more of the other stat. Okay, I'll lock this one. I'll also lock this one. So, uh, potentially a good piece for upgrade later. Alright, give me an automatically locked- Oh! A feather and a flower that's locked. Do I even need any of these though? This feels like an adrenaline rush for me. Okay, I got a query circle without any quick damage. Unfortunate. I'm with Master Sand. Okay. So, these two are locked. It feels like I'm rolling a Tem roll, by the way. Where I can gacha. And I see a uh, rainbow or something. Wait, gold. Huh? How is this locked? Get out. Okay, this one's okay. Crit damage isn't really as high, but still decent enough. I got scammed, yeah. I got excited for nothing. No! Okay. Nothing. How is this thing not locked? 
So I guess I don't need to be disappointed when there's nothing locked yet because I might just get surprised. Okay, healing bonus, defense. Give me an attack with the sand, though. Oh! Yeah, why am I even getting disappointed for? Like, this is what I'm actually looking for. Yeah, this last one is trash. Okay, I did get my Sanzo, so I can start enhancing now. So, he wants Crimson Witch of Flames. I did get one that's good, so maybe it's a potential upgrade to my flower. Uh, Feather? This one's actually bad, yeah. I also got this Feather. So maybe I can enhance this one as well. To hopefully upgrade my Feather into a better crit set. But, this is what I'm looking at here. I hope I don't get any defense lines. If I get defense line, I'll cry. Okay, attack. Not the worst thing you can get. The worst thing was probably another flat defense line. But now, I just hope that everything will hit crit damage or crit rate. And I'll be satisfied. Okay, you... Stop. Okay, good. I don't know that was a low roll. I ran out of artifact fathers again. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alright, I'll get rid of these two. Alright, fingers crossed. Crit damage? <laughs> well, at least this is usable. Okay, please. I'm sacrificing an artifact for this. A good artifact for this. So, I know there's 42 defense on this line. But please, give me a crit damage. Oh, wow. I didn't actually believe it would hit. But sure. But yeah, this is an upgrade for sure. Let's do the feather now. How about that? Anything above 8% or 9% crit rate and 14% crit damage is good. Okay, I can't plus 4 yet. Let's make us plus 4 and see if we want to actually continue. Well, let's just do this. Wait, no, I don't want to do this. These are so such good artifacts. Well, at least not locked. Hello? <laughs> okay, this one needs to get out. This is what Diluc was using beforehand. This one is getting used as a fodder. And hopefully I'll be getting like 30% crit damage after this. Probably not gonna happen, but still. What is that? Okay, just so you know, I probably got this artifact like two years ago. Or three years ago. This is probably my, one of my first attack person stands. And it was on another character for a long time, but like, uh, yeah. This is why this account is a day one account, right? And maybe it was one of my only five star artifacts. It was back when I was AR40 and I was farming artifacts. Which is pretty much a mistake because you don't get guaranteed 5 star drops. And once you got a 5 star drop, this is like the, the kind of crumbs I was collecting. Not cleaning out your inventory? Yeah, so this is why it's the worst day one account you've ever seen, right? But hopefully using this garbage artifact, one of the worst artifacts you've seen in your life, can give me some good rules. Please. Okay, I mean, Elemental Master is not the worst you can get, right? Because Diluc is... Vaporize. Crit damage. Wow, it's actually hitting crit damage. Okay, I think this is automatically better than the other one. Even though this one does have a lot of crit rate. Okay, uh, I guess first of all, let me just go fight the boss again. Since I still need to ascend my Diluc to level 80. Can my Noah actually use her burst first? Okay, she can. But no Farina buffs though. 15k? 14k? 17k? 8k. Okay, I didn't crit. Was that good, by the way? Is my Noel actually doing good damage? I'm not really sure. Oh, I got three of them. Okay, nice. I just need, like, how many more? Five more? So, like, around two more runs. Oh, 20k. Okay. 16k. I don't think I'm getting max stacks. Wait, am I getting max stacks? I have bubbles on my screen, so I think I am. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. I have 80 resins, so if you give me 3 at least once, then it will guarantee only 2 more runs. So, but if you give me 2, which you did, then I need to get 3 at the last run, which kind of sucks, because I do not want to use my other fragile resin at all. Alright, let's just finish off the boss real quick and hopefully be able to just finish out Diluc farming. And I can go back to strong boxing. 3! Ooh. I feel like I should call out what I get. Because Genshin is really blessing me with the calls. But regardless, I still got my Diluc to level 80 though. And that's probably where I'll be leaving him for now. Since um, he doesn't really need Triple Crown, right? Talent-wise, let's see. Maybe 8, 11, 11 as well. Like Noel, the Diluc is going to get to 8, 11, 11 finally. Uh, let's get rid of some of these artifacts, because I have a good amount of these as well. Okay, nothing is locked right now. But I just need a crit rate circlet with crit damage substats. That's it. That's the only thing I want. 
Why? Okay, nothing yet. Oh! Circle it? Circle is locked? This might be it. Now what does Feather have? What? Does it have anything? Okay. Why is it crit damage of crit rate? Okay, I'll just not... That one's trash. Okay, let me guess. Crit rate circle with crit damage substats with attack, energy recharge, and ultimate mastery. Why am I getting crit damage circles with crit rate? Why? You know what? Let me enhance the crit damage circle and see what I get. Okay, this one got defense. Okay, that's it? It can't enhance it any further? You know what? And this is why you guys should hoard like me. Uh, because of these. Oh. I need to press too fast. Okay. Crit rate. Crit rate. Seriously? Alright, give me attack. Give me attack. Yeah. Attack. Attack. I didn't want attack. Okay. Whatever. Uh, let me see what my Duke could look like when he has a crit damage circle. Hmm. Do I do this? Let's get some crit damage lines. Crit damage. <sighs> crit damage. Okay, crit is not bad. Defense. Defense. No! <laughs> okay, this artifact is useless now. Uh, do I have anything else to use? No. I'll use the plus four artifacts I just got and just like feed them into the goblet I have right now. So, this one, wait, this one, this one, this one. Plus 10. Quick damage? Never mind. I don't think it's worth enhancing anymore. Alright, I'm doing something that I probably shouldn't, but I will anyways, but I'll still lend this goblet because um, I don't have any better power damage goblets. Unless it's just steal hotels. Yeah, I think I'm gonna steal hotels actually. So... Hutao, and then circlet. I'm gonna change, maybe into a crit race circlet instead. Wait, this is my build right now. Okay, what's a crit damage circlet with very high crit rate? Do I have any of them? Six percent, fourteen percent. Okay, how's this? Is this good? But yeah, uh, my Diluc. Team, well, like my Dido right now is 58 and 173, so I think it's pretty good as a uh, placeholder for now, or maybe enough belt at least. So hopefully he'll be able to rock in the abyss. But before that, let me just go fight the Mako Kingi I fought earlier to try out my before and after damage with my Noel team. Don't want to use Noel's burst yet because I won't probably get to it yet before the transition. Alright. Boss is probably gonna run away first. Wait, actually not yet? What? Huh? Oh well. Still very fast though. Okay, I'll change my Dido team as well. What kind of boss should I fight with Dido though? Maybe Primo Jewel Bishop. So, uh, this will most likely be my Dido team. Let's go. Oh, so this one is actually- wait, what element is this? Dido thought he could fly. But yeah, uh, Dido can definitely fly, but only with gliders and wings. Let's test out damage uh, against Primo Joe Bishop here. Let me get my burst back. Ow. I get my burst back. I just want to see how much my Dido can do. Okay. I give my burst, Kazuha. There we go. Hmm, 90k, wow. 40k's? Okay. It was Zero always this strong? Mr. Sure Bill Murder. Wait, I'm also C6, I forgot. So in the base, we'll most likely just play floor 12 and see our newly built team. Okay, I do only have one Hydro character with Farina though, so hopefully I'll be able to destroy the shields fast. First of is... I don't know, I can't wait to... 
get through this abyss. Okay. Pretty respectable damage, I would say. Okay, something just exploded and did 47k. What was that? Was that Goro? Like, I'm so confused. Alright. Energy seems pretty good. Oh. Time to spin! Get my heels up a little bit as well. Whoa! I don't know what happened. I was just spinning and I got dizzy. Okay. I'm not gonna... Do the spin to win anymore. Okay, I already got rid of the shield. That was quick. Like the first phase at least. I'll get rid of his ball first, because it's pretty annoying. Contributing to a lot of damage. Ow. I think time-wise, maybe not bad. Could be better though. I'm not gonna get my three stars. Oh well. My Diluc is doing big damage now though, so I'm happy now. Why well, I feel like Diluc swings his like Claymore so fast? Is it because of his constellation or something? Ow. Is it me, by the way, or is my team comp not good in this abyss? Because, like, I'm struggling hard. Die! No! Please? 20 seconds? Oh. There we go. Second chamber, I don't think it's that hard, right? I think it's pretty good for my team. No annoying enemies that have resistance to certain elements or shields, hopefully. So I could get through this chamber pretty effortlessly. Yeah, my Noah definitely needs better uh, build. And also, maybe if I level to level 90, she could also be able to do more damage, perhaps. But so far, while her damage is good, um, I would hope for some more faster run without any issues I'm running into right now. Okay, let's go over here. And then the tractor should be able to come to me. Alright. There we go. Oh, my rotation is sad? Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah. I'll swirl this hydro this time. Do this. And then, yeah, vaporize. Nice. Oh, that did like 100k, right? Probably not. I didn't see it. Can I get three stars though? No! Clutch? Last second clutch? Oh? No, I didn't crit. I didn't crit. No! Oh well. It's so hard to vaporize correctly. Okay. Okay, I gotta kill two of these samurais together, right? Ooh, nice. Wait. Alright. No, I was very tanky though, not gonna lie. She is very good at DPS and tanking. Especially after Freenos is a uh, debut. This is the first time I'm playing so many Claymore characters, by the way. As you can tell, I'm not a Claymore character main. Because, uh, Diluc, I have no idea how to use him. Uh, Noah, I think it's pretty easy though, you just spin. And just swing your Claymore around. But Navia, also pretty easy to play, so... They're definitely making Claymore characters more, but more easy. And especially when I have C6 Diluc, uh... He does swing his Claymore a little bit fast, so... Yeah. Is the other one dead yet? Okay, it is. Okay, uh, Kazuo also didn't die. He's just taking a nap. I do not want to face that... ...chamber again, so I'm not gonna just start over since I'm not really caring about the... ...rank. <laughs> I blame new V. Alright, Mono Pyro. My hero is still alive. Okay, 40k? Not bad. Okay, they're gonna start the uh, rotations once again. So, 
Thomas is honestly a pain to fight. If my dude dies, this is over. Please don't die. <sighs> Alright. Solo. I believe in Bennett Solos. Because he's C C6 as well. Uh, he can also do pyro damage. And he's not gonna die. What's the 6,000 damage I'm doing, by the way? Is it like a weapon or something that's doing it? Was it like, oh, it's the like Abyss, uh, Leyline Disorder or something. Whatever you call that. Okay, uh, so maybe that's why you guys should be c 6 Bennett because he can just solo carry everything. Diluc definitely surprises me by, um, how fast he dies. No, uh, <laughs> by his damage, okay. Once I get more used to Diluc's rotations and maybe some other things, then I think I'll be good enough. If you enjoy watching this cursed account fixing, make sure to go check out how I fix this no-wish account by clicking on the video here.